What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Got the main Woo! man fishing with Norm What's here. up, everybody? You're looking like a solid seven foot flat today. You're not looking like your normal seven foot two. I'm, I know. I may have grown a little bit. I don't know. I think you're getting up there. You I know think what I'm, I mean? Yeah, I'm you're up growing. there. I'm like six eight these days. Or I'm shrinking too. Maybe both. It might be those things right there, just kind of killing your growth. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's uh, the only thing <laughs> keeping me alive and going. I know. That's why I love you. <laughs> we are here in front of Academy today. We're going to be doing something very special, and it's something that you guys absolutely loved it when me and Norm did a couple weeks ago. So if you guys Guys missed it really quickly. Me and this guy right here ran into Bass Pro Shops and we spent a ton of money creating the two most expensive combos yeah, you can make in Bass Pro Shops. Now, as for today's video, we're gonna do kind of a similar thing. We're gonna spend some money, we're gonna create some combos. It's gonna be a little bit of a twist from last time, but one thing's for sure, somebody's gonna walk away from this challenge with two brand new most expensive combos from Academy. Yes. Who's it gonna be, buddy? You ready? Uh, hopefully me, because the last time I'm pretty sure I caught nothing. Uh, I think. Oh, you did? And did the last not? one. I don't think I caught a single fish. Like, you instantly oh caught like God, a, giant. a giant. Yeah, and yeah. I was just missing hook sets because my rod was too flimsy. You're right. So I'm coming into this like prepared. You've got some I gotta get a today. stiff rod. Like, that's number one thing. Last time I just yeah. bought the most expensive <laughs> stuff. Did not think about how it was gonna function, but that's today I'm point. thinking expensive and functionality. That's right. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll explain more of the rules inside. Let's get in there. Let's spend some money. All right, so guys, we're inside the store. We're starting to look around a little bit. I'm gonna let Norm go first since he is the guest. And he's got a lot riding in this video. I mean, he's got a, potentially a free boat and two combos, so. so. Okay, so today I'm buying my own rod and reel combo though. Like, so I'm buying mine, you're buying yours, so that way I have skin in the game. That's right, the difference in this video is we're gonna buy our own combos. We're gonna spend our own money to design the most expensive or the best combo, or whatever you want it to be, and then okay. fish against each other with those combos and the winner takes both. both. And it's actually going to be a big fish challenge today. So we're going to catch the biggest fish. That's who's going to take. Ooh. So it's, it, this video is going to be kind of wild. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of things on the line. I'm going to let you start with your rod. And if you're real too, if you just want to go ahead and do your whole combo. All right. Yeah. I'll run the whole thing up. So the good news about Academy is they got like a whole wall of yeah. rods here. So there's so many options. Oh, there's Man. Of thousands of rods in here. I mean like different kinds and brands and stuff. So there's only no, there isn't even a Guggen Gold rod. I oh. thought this was a good, that somebody pranked us. They did prank us. So there's forward. Guggen Greens, which are, you know, awesome, but they're the least expensive. Right. And we're trying to go expensive here, right? So that's a, what, 119, I think, the Guggen Greens are? I believe so. That sounds about right. 120-ish, yeah. give or take $10. If you use code LOJO, you save like an extra 50 bucks on the rod, so. I mean, GuggenSquad.com, that is true. <laughs> yeah. It is true. I think you can do better though, man. I think you can, I think yeah. you, somebody like you who really takes these budget, these no budget challenges seriously, I think yeah. you can find a, uh, a high dollar, high end rod. I, I feel confident if anybody can do it, you can. Now I'm thinking like, you know, this is my money. So now I'm that's, like, that's I'm right. at a massive crossroads here because <laughs> if it was yours, that's I'd right. have no problem. But now I'm like thinking also practicality. So not only like, obviously, the more expensive a rod and reel is, the better it should be. Should but there's be. very few exceptions where you could spend hundreds of dollars on a rod. It's just not good. That's so true. I'm gonna try to actually build like the best and most expensive one I can do, just so I can win your rod and reel combo you pick out. Let's can go. you hold this for me? I, I need accept the challenge. I need two hands to like really focus up here. He does need two hands for his rod. Sir, how much are these? Are these expensive? They kind of look expensive. Yeah, they're like, there's, I know. There's not price tag. Oh, 139. So they kind of are. We're getting up there. Yeah, that's not expensive enough. Not quite norm level, I don't know. Yeah. 179 bucks. Nope. Castaways are one or 89 bucks, and those are pretty decent rods, but not expensive enough. We I checked every rod in the store. This is the most expensive, the ducket, and I'm going heavy this time, dude, because last time my hook sets, I couldn't drive the hook into them because I had like a medium light. Yeah. <laughs> but just because it was the most expensive. Dude, these are the Jacob Wheeler's signature series. I didn't even realize that. Damn. <laughs> so, I mean, if it's good enough for a pro, I mean, dear Lord, come on. This is a 7.3, medium heavy, no, just like me. Like dude, I, no, I like this. Like, I like how whenever you get a new rod, you just gotta, t like, just all the things like the fishermen do, they're just like. Yeah, you gotta bend it, you gotta yeah, shake it a little and bit. Yeah, and they do this thing. Well, I've actually never seen that one. They do that to test the action. They're yeah, like, okay, that's good. See how far back and, yeah, None of it ever matters, but when <laughs> back when I was in high school, every kid that I went fishing with, 
they just walk into academy, pick up the rod, and they just go. <laughs> just to make it look like. Dude, I, I, if you guys know what I'm talking about, please comment down below because that is like. That's just something fishermen do. They just test the action like that. You never seen that? Not that one in particular, but I definitely do bend it against the ground, though. And even though I'm not even really sure where I'm looking at, I'm just like, oh yeah, it looks like a good bend yeah, right it's there. It's just to show everybody else in the store, like, I'm yeah, I, I can hit yeah. the, I can hit the back end of it and watch it wobble. I know what's going on. All right, so now I'm looking for the most expensive reel, and they ha obviously the ones in the case are going to be the most expensive. So they have the, they have a couple options. They have the $289 Shimano Chronarch MGL, which is just upside down randomly in the case. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Probably because it's awful. Dude, do you hate Chronox too? I hate it, dude. It's like the only Shimano reel on the planet that for some reason it's like one of the most expensive and I dislike it so hard. Dude, the $100 SLX, like That's whatever what it is, is so much better. And I, guys, I have one of these and Fisher Yen used it and the whole back side of the reel snapped off. Like dang the, it, Fisher Yen. Dang it, man. It's not his fault. It was the reel's <laughs> fault. He just set the hook and the whole reel like busted. So I'm not getting that even though it's the most expensive because I want to build like the best combo. So there's two. There's the Shimano Corrado 70 MGL and then the Shimano Corrado 200K. Ooh. I think I'm going to go with the, with the 200K. Yeah, dude. I think that looks... Oh, breaking Yikes. my rod before I buy yeah, it. Go ahead and weaken that tip up. Norm. Yep. Yeah, no, that, that matches perfectly. The gray, the blue, and the white. It's going to look pretty sexy, man, I have to admit. It's going to look nice. I'm feeling confident, though. I think I got uh, I think I think got what I need. Yeah. Let's yep. get somebody ready to grab this bad boy. All right, so Norm put together a pretty good combo. Let's do a little quick math right here. So your reel was like 190 without tax. Yeah. Your rod was 130? 30, I think. Or 139, so 140. Yes. You keep hitting that thing like three <laughs> times. You can't trust me with my rod, man. I'm going to hit it on stuff. Yes. So your total, like without even tax, is like 140 plus 190. That's 330. Yes. And then with tax, it's probably going to be like 350. Yeah. So that, that, maybe even more than that, actually. So. And then that's and you're not even including line and like stuff line, you need to lures, use for it too. So that is and correct. Totality with lures and everything is probably going to be like a $370 right. when I'm casting with it. That's right. Okay. So I'm not going to focus too much on money, but uh, like like Norm said, I want something that's going to perform well. So let's start with a good old Guggenrod. Now Norm is right about one thing. <laughs> this looks like a gold, man. It's I such know. a it's such a mind squig because show him this like section real quick, Andrew. When you look at the section, you see all these rods, and you see this one right here that looks like it's a Guggen Gold, but you pull it out, ah, oh, H2O Express. Gosh darn it, but I think what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go, I, I would go on the heavy rod, but I'm gonna stick with the go-to, okay? So it's a Guggen Green Series go-to, so basically like a seven foot medium heavy. Yeah. Basically, which means you could throw anything on it, but I do believe this rod, if I'm not mistaken, it's only like $10 cheaper than that one. So this yeah. might be like 120. So this is actually probably the next most expensive rod in the in store the, besides yeah. that one. If I it think. was a gold, that would have been like perfect. Gold but that would have been the, the most, yeah. yeah. We got the two most expensive right here. Yeah, we do. So boom, let's compare it to that one. Very similar, I'm not yep. quite as long obviously, but um, I think it's gonna get the job done. Does yours have a, a ruler on it? Mine does not have a ruler on it, mm. that is unfortunate. With that extra 10 bucks, you think, feel like they could have put a ruler on there. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. It's okay, man. You might, you'll, 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 be, you'll be okay. I might trade my rod out. All right, so making our way over here to the real section. Now, Norm, he pretty much took all the words out of my mouth. I mean, the, the Chronark is 289 So, I mean, that's like the most expensive reel. But the problem is, I've owned them before. Just not impressed, not for that type of price tag. So, I'm going to kind of do what Norm did. And I'm going to take a small step down the Shimano MGL. Okay, this thing is 239 Besides the Chronark, that's the most expensive one. So I think, I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? I mean, those are the two most expensive reels that are not Chronarks. Yeah, you know, we've I mean, used Chronarks before. Yeah. I've never used the MGL, so I actually might have to like take a cast with your rod and reel to yeah, try it out. That's like, I'm just hitting my that's tip the fourth on time everything. he's hit that thing. My tip is going. It makes a very distinctive like metal yeah. sound when you hit it. I just got to make sure it's worth $130. Like if it breaks, exactly. you know, I'm just going to put it back and grab another. So. That's an interesting point. Let's go ahead and grab our reels out of the case and kind of see how these combos look. All right, so we got a couple more Shimano's here. Apparently what we saw was not even uh, was not even it. There's also, a, oh, this is a Corrado HG. Oh my gosh, we're getting deep in this, Norm. We're getting deep in this. These things are like this bubble wrap. 190, 190, 200, 260. 260? Oh my Interesting. Gosh. So we have found a new contender here. We thought the MGL was the most expensive. It's actually not. 
the Corrado DC XG, which is this guy right here. So we may have to switch it up at the last second. Here, I didn't know that those got that expensive. But that was not a DC. So that's a different one altogether as well. Man, you guys got a bunch back there and behind the, uh, the fence. I mean, look, anytime you can get a reel that makes this sound. Oh, it didn't do it. I'm a squiggler. Y'all hear that? <laughs> oh, that's the boy. sound of money right there. It is. Well, you know, I'm gonna okay. look at this one. We're like changing the rules like halfway through, but it's okay. The most important thing is we are going to end up with the most expensive combos from Academy. Let's go ahead and buy what we're gonna buy. Let's put the combos together. Let's take it out to the water where the second portion of this fishing challenge is gonna commence. It's gonna be a big one. Hey everybody. Just rub loose wires in a boat together. Oh, okay, that's good. Bro, what in the, oh. Bro, that's gotta be your problem. Yeah, probably. Bro, these aren't even like close to being connected. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, bro, your cord looks like a cat just went ham on it. So that yellow one's not connected. I don't know if any of these wires are currently connected. That could be a problem. Wow. Yoinks. Well, we're gonna have to do a full blown cut and retie on this one, looks like. Guys, you gotta remember something. If you are a boat owner, you actually own a broken boat. You just don't know about what's broken yet. So if you guys did not know that about boats, we currently have a non-trolling motor situation, but don't you worry. We've got a nice little drift going on with the wind. It's gonna be just fine. All right, folks, we've made it out to the water. We've got our combos right here. As you can see, they are looking shiny, looking brand new. Brand spank, not a scratch, dude, not a little dent, nothing. It's very weird to see our reels and like, uh, actual, the, by the end of the day, they are gonna have oh, their yeah. dents, their bruises. 100%. But right now we can just admire how beautiful they yeah. look. Same with the rods, you know, we're gonna have some fresh bends in these rods soon, yeah. hopefully. But uh, yeah, we're all rigged up. We already put some line on there. We're already rigged up with lures. What did you opt to fish with first lure-wise? So what you got going on I right fished there? out here like two times before with you and yeah. we marked so much bait fish we did. on the live scope. So what a lot of people don't do is normally when they throw like a weighted Texas rig, they throw a craw, they throw like a curly tail worm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but what I noticed is because there's so much bait fish in here, Ooh. hopping this around on the bottom, just a Texas rig, it's something different and not like a lot of fishermen throw. Yeah. And it's just a dying bait fish just kind of yeah. swimming around on the bottom. And this time of year, too, like a lot of bait fish are dying. It's getting uh, hot outside. Yeah, it's getting yep. really hot outside. So it's just a perfect little presentation. It looks like a bluegill and a shad all in one, the color I chose. So I got the uh, the old dart on. I'm going to keep it a little bit more simple, I feel like. And that's the old Slim Shake right there. Light Texas rig, finesse worm. It's just not threatening at all to bass. You know what I mean? They see that and they're just like, I mean, it's a worm, you know? That's it's like, I, it's dude, like us seeing a piece of pizza. It's like, oh yeah, I could eat, you know? It's like, there's no yeah. work to be done. Yeah, what were you gonna say? I, I just feel like craws are like kind of scary, you know, like a bug. That is And true. I feel like with a worm, it's just the easiest meal a fish can eat. It's right. just like free food. Um, make sure though your drag is set because every time we buy a new oh, rod and reel combo, I already dude, tighten mine. Good yeah, call. here's all the, so and so yeah. we don't lose a fish. <laughs> good call. What pound line do you have on there? Uh, I got 15 pound, but okay. not a ton of it. But I, I do think too. we'll be good. I do too. All right, well, let's set my brakes. Yeah, I do. I, I've kind of done like everything, so I'm just ready to get in actually in the water. Oh, yeah. So, gonna start the fishing challenge at the end of this little scene. We've got like two hours. Biggest fish is going to win. Almost, it, it almost was like a thousand dollars worth of combos when it was all set. Yeah, up. I think mine some was. Some of these items were more expensive than we thought. Yeah, yours was over like four fifty. Yeah, and your reel was more expensive that's, than mine. That's right. So with tax, it ended up. Oh, we, met, we didn't grand. even tell him, dude. My rod rung up as one fifty. That's right. And yeah, the reel rung up like thirty dollars more than that's it even right. said on the price tag. Yeah. So with tax, we really did end up with the most expensive <laughs> combos at Academy. So two hours, biggest fish wins both combos. I can't yes. wait to use this nice new equipment. That two hour time frame starts right now. You down for going deep, dude? I'm down for as deep as you want to go. That's what I like Because I got one. No! no! I don't have one. You liar. I don't know. She's looking a little bendy. We were also moving with the trolling motor, so you never know. But um, guys, I want 
one, the combo I paid for, I'd like to take this home. And then two, I would also like to take home Lojo's combo. So it's serious time. I Biggest fish. I would like to do that. Do we have a scale on the boat? I think so. I think so. That's good. <laughs> that means no, we don't have a scale. <laughs> we'll... I think I do actually have a scale, but if we don't, I plan on catching <laughs> such a big fish, there's going to be no question. So that's oh, okay. my strategy right now. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. What's your uh, gear ratio on the old reel there, my friend? Bro, I got a eight to five. Oh my lord, they're yeah. making these really fast. Oh, mine's an eight to five. Hey, really? Twinsies. <laughs> Let's go. I I like that high speed though, because I can always slow down, yeah, but you exactly. can't always speed up. That's so right. I prefer that high gear ratio. Man, that was some deep wisdom right there. Yeah. yeah. You can always slow down, but you can never speed up. <laughs> yep. And there he is. No. Got him. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, dude, <laughs> decent fish. <laughs> Not a bad oh, one. Let's go. Shoot. Starting her off with a bang. Yes, sir. Dude, what I did too is I saw how shallow it was up on the bank, so I burned the dart in like super quick yeah. and then just killed it right next to that log. Oh and so gosh. trying to get him to like just react really quick to it, not think about it. Yeah. And guys, got it right on the top of the mouth. So this is different than the last challenge. I missed like three hook sets, caught nothing because I had a medium light. <laughs> but now I got that medium heavy seven foot three driving them hook sets in. Nice. Oh, look at them fins go up. She's ready for the camera. Nice. All right, we'll call that because we don't have the scale. <laughs> well, you know, that won't be the fish that wins this competition, yeah. if I have to guess, but it's a pounder, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll know. give her a pound and a quarter. Yeah. You know. You more, know the more, deal. Go ahead. Give her, give her the old... Skrbloosh. More importantly, how did the rod, or how did the combo feel? Actually, Was it my, more, did it feel like a $500 combo? It, dude, it felt nice. I detected the bite and everything. The rod is, like, amazing. My drag just slipped a little bit. I don't have it tight all the way. But uh, it worked out for the best. So, dude, I'm liking it. I like this combo. I can cast pretty far. Yeah. I want to take it home with me. So I got some work to do. All right, Norm's on the board first. But like I said, I'm pretty dang sure in a lake like this that we call a trophy bass lake pretty regularly. Because that's what they're grooming it to be. That's not going to be the fish to win $1,000 worth of combos. There's no way. Oh, I'm good. Oh, no. I had him pull my worm off, dude. Dang, man. Wow, oh, Slim Shake just got pickpocketed. Me and Norm have just figured something out really quickly. We did two things. One, we checked the water temp. Now, it was reading like 84, which I think is a little high. It's the surface temperature, but if the water is even close to 80 degrees, then, oh, no, don't you do that. I pulled it out of his mouth. I'm a big dummy. Anyways, we figured out the fish are definitely shallow. I'm sure the big ones are not far behind them, so this is gonna be a, a speed type situation. Who can get keep their lure in the water most? Got one. No, Norm. <laughs> Dang it! Drag. Oh, really? Drag? Yes! That's not drag. That's it. That's it. This reel's terrible. <laughs> Official review. You want my review? <laughs> this combo is terrible. Same strat too, bro. I was yeah. I was burning it. Like, like this? Yeah. And, and then, then I kill it. Yeah. Right into that structure. Looks like it's running away from something up shallow, and then it just is like, ah. No, I think bass really love the fall of a bait. I think that's an underrated thing, you know, just letting it fall on slack line. Oh, wow, that should be a fish right there. I am in it. It's like reassuring myself. Yes, that was it. Yeah. No. Yep. <laughs> Stay on, he's baby. Not big, is he? He's not big. No, he's not. He's not big, but you know. Oh, thank God. I'm just practicing Whoa. my hook sets for when one is big. I hooked him on the outside of the mouth. Oh, nice! Yes. He got you back. I got that bass finger now. A little bit different than the last challenge we had. It's uh, <laughs> I feel like we switched roles here. Oh, no arms but there. dude, look at this stripe going down. I mean, it's like a one single lateral line. Have you seen this, hmm. Lojo? Look at this. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's kind of weird. It's one distinct line, like a small, yeah. not, a, not a group. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Maybe I just haven't noticed it, but that's like, that's prominent. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Dang. All right. Well, that's not bigger. The first one was definitely bigger. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. For this sure. is not even a pound, but yeah. still fun. See you, buddy. Thanks for playing. Oh, no God. way. Let's oh! Oh, that's a good one. It might do something here. This might give me a little lead. It oh. definitely will. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, right, right underneath the pipe. I'm bringing him to you, Norm. 
Oh! Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely taking the lead right there. Yeah, she's got a couple pounds on her. She's got a pound or two on her. Come here, girl. We could just live well it, too. I don't, we didn't even think about that. Like, live well our biggest one. We should, until just we're done. Like, so we could compare side by side. Boom. Not much bigger than Norm's, but it definitely bigger. Yeah, for sure. Tail all tore up from the spawn. This looks like a post-spawn fish, though, I'm pretty sure. So let's live well this one, because as of right now, he's my biggest fish. And as of right now, this is a $1,000 worth of combo <laughs> fish. All right, guys. Sun's going down. I gotta catch a big one. Lojo just cranked his first one. That's probably like a solid two and a half pounder right where this water was flowing in. So it just looked so good. That's where the big one's gonna hang out. But we got time and the, oh, I thought I had one. The more the sun goes down, the hotter I think the bite's gonna get. So I still got potential. I need to bring these combos home. Water column, problem. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, there was one waking on me and I got into some grass. Oh my Lord. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, that's <laughs> no upgrade, but still. It's good to know they are awake, baby. They're firing up, Norm. Oh, they're I think fire. the bite is firing up. You both hit my retina with your rod tip. I apologize about that. It's okay, I like it. Oh! All right, well, we're not gonna take a whole lot of time admiring this guy. No, Norm's on. Got him, let's go. No, be oh, big. Totally. You yeah, he's kind of big, but oh, not really. Man. I don't think he's gonna beat you, but he's like, you know. Dude, that's close, man. He's in the ounces range. Yes! Wow. Boat flipping. What a turn of events. Oh. Dude, that's gonna be close, man. Oh. My legs. legs. See that guy. Look at that. Dart in the guzzle. Guzzle. I'm coming out with new words as we go. Look at that, she is spawned out, dude. But you know what, let me pull mine out real quick and we'll do it on the spot. That way we don't have to get yeah. confused. Oh. Right, hold them up, hold them up. Let's just look at this. Well, mine's definitely fatter, yours is a little longer. Yeah. I think that's a, I mean, it's probably a heavier fish, but geez, if you're going by length, that's a longer fish, so. Skinny though, show them the girth. Yeah. Good Lord, that's close, man. Yeah. Let's keep them for now. I've got the short and fat one, you got the long and skinny one. Yep. We'll have to make a determination later, but I still think we still have like an hour of fishable light. So those are, I think we got some more big bass coming. That's right. Get there. Dude, you are like all up on me, man. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Yeah. You're to steal that big fish away from me. I know what you're doing. No! Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, I mean, it's decent. Am I in your line? No, you're not. You're I think good, you've good. got me. Oh, okay. No, you're good. I'm up. Dude, I don't think he's, it's not very big. He's not hooked very good either, I don't think. He's got a bunch of salad with him. I think he's a vegan too, Zay. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that salad my guy's got right there. <laughs> oh, please don't do it to me. Oh, he did it. Well, so much for trending in the big fish direction. Hey, we're still getting bites though, man. We're still putting these expensive combos to the test. Once again, a beautiful fish. Look at that like shade, yeah. shade of color to him. Bloody tail, man. These fish are just coming off that spawn, post spawn, all tore up. They're still pretty though. Still fun to catch. See you later, buddy. See ya, girl. Ooh, I'm about to get eight. Oh, God. oh, dude, that wake was gnarly. Ha oh, oh, just did, just ate it. I think. Yep. That's a decent one. Oh, I'm sorry. Just stepped on somebody. Oh, it came off. No. no. Dude, I, who did I just step me. on then? Me. My bad, man, for it's stepping on you. But you screwed me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I did like hella lose balance, but it's all, I, I just don't think I had her good. I never felt like I had it good. That was a decent fish. Y'all, did everybody see that wake? Yeah, that was, was crazy. So, like I hit in like an inch of water and the impact of the bait spooked her away. She came right back, but then she circled again and came and ate it. It was one of the craziest eats I've ever seen. But God, I messed it up. That that was probably like seal the deal fish right there. You know, that's probably your Mr. Four Pounder. Not going to beat that in 30 minutes type deal, but it's not over yet. We're still basically tied at this point. So no harm done. Yep. Yep. That's her. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait. No way. Wait. No. No, I'm hung. Oh my. Oh, dude. dude I, I thought you were I hooked thought up with a, a 10. Dude, oh and my. It felt Lord. like at first, I guess I was pulling it through a branch 
it really did feel like a fish. So I don't know if I got wrapped up. I probably, I just ran it into a branch, but dude, it felt so good in the beginning. You had me going, bro. <laughs> you said, yup, that's her. I saw your rod bend. I said, oh my Lord, there goes a thousand dollars down the drain. Nope. Just a branch breaking my dreams. Come on, full founder. Eat my clutch so I can take home combos. Oh, that was so cool. Dude, that's that a big one? I don't, no, it's no. not. Oh, what a bite, though, man. What an epic bite. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes. I about oh, broke my new rod. Dude. I got too excited and reeled up too oh, much. <laughs> dude, that was such a sick eat. So close to the boat, too. Right I, was, I was literally just about to reel it in. Yeah. Oh. Dude, the way it hit it and the swirl, I thought it was a huge fit. Did you think it was big? Dude, I, I did too, cause it, it like it just didn't like jump out of the water for it, yeah. which a lot of times the big ones they just suck it down. Dude, it's a chunky one. I just wish my longest fish was about like had a stomach like one of these, cause then I would be looking good. Well, guys, the sun was going down, so it just makes sense, you know, throw a top water around. A lot of times, top water you can get a really big fish too, and this blooper just makes like a, this deep popping noise, and they just can't stand it. Well, that is not going to take the lead, but yet another fish. And whenever you go fishing with your combo, your new combo for the first time, you know, it's always fun to catch fish on it. So there we go. But it I might not be done. mine if I don't do anything soon. Yeah, man. It's going to be close. Bloop. Wow. Drew blood. Let's go. Pop one. I see it's good there. Yeah. You know what I'm doing. Um. Oh. Got him. There we go. Dude, that's a good one. <laughs> that might be a decent one. Oh I don't gosh. know if he's bigger, but you I know can't. it's hard to tell because the sun's going I, down. Maybe not. Oh okay, gosh, he hit it like a hammer. Yeah, dude. He, dude, every time I put this thing, it's <laughs> I'm not used to this rod. I reel all the way up to the rod tip. I just about break my rod every time. Dude, that's another like fatter one, but yeah, he's not long. Not, not quite. Yeah. Yeah, you might not be. Not quite. Oh. <sighs> We're kind of whacking them out here, though, huh? I mean, that's like number eight right there, right? Dude, it's nuts. And dude, it, on top water, too, you just oh, can't, man. like, you can't ask for a better bite. It's so much fun. Oh, dude, I literally shut his mouth. <laughs> you got one trouble in the top and one trouble in the bottom. Get Nicely done, there. man. Nicely done. Thank you. I like a good top water bite. <laughs> dude, oh, it's so much fun. Especially on the popper, too, man. It's just something about it. it just, you pop it, it sits there, and then all of a sudden, yeah, they just come up and smoke it. Well, there we go, guys. Another one. Probably like a pound and a half or maybe. So he's a little bit healthier. Well, man. <laughs> it still is just as close as it was an yeah. hour ago. I just need one massive explosion on this. Oh. oh grass. You good? I think that's where mine came off of, was right off the edge of the grass. Wow, I may have just gotten crushed in the grass, actually. Really? Oh, my Lord. Yeah, my worm's about pulled off. I'll cast there if you want me to. <laughs> yeah, well, if you want me to cast there, just tell me. <laughs> All right, folks, so we're in a little bit of a conundrum here. That's your vocabulary word for the day, Norm. That means a gosh darn problem. Yes. Okay? Thought a, there was a, a scale. calamity. There you go. One a might calamity. say a calamity. Yep, I graduated high school, not college, though. Same. Okay, so I was positive there was a scale in my truck. Here's the thing, there's not, okay? <laughs> I apologize, but here's the thing, don't don't hit dislike, don't click off the video yet, because we know YouTubers like me and Norm are notorious for doing this, and we apologize. Yeah, throw but, me into that, why don't you? Oh, hey, you're in it, buddy. Yeah, you're, you're, you're You right. get those comments just like I do, guys. We have, <laughs> we, how many scales have you bought in your life for real? Dude, dude at, least, at least 45 or 47. The problem is they either, the batteries, I leave them in my truck to get rained on, it's just yeah, like we got wear pros and SD cards. At least we bring those. So. Yeah, I don't know. But here's the thing, okay? Hear us out. We are going to do something that normally people don't do. We are going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to explain all that in just a second, but let's pull the fish out here. and Let's get them side by side. Give the people at home mm -hmm. the best possible view of these fish, all right? Yeah. So look at mouth. Right. Look at one. Let's look at mouth ratio. See, yeah, my, your mouth, your, mouth, your, your mouth fish has a double. bigger frame, which once again, like the mouth, the mouth is pretty dang big. Honestly, the mouth is really freaking big. Okay. Yeah. The length as well. Your your bass has a bigger frame. Mine is just tummied up like crazy. And that might be the only thing that's making this so close. Now that I'm looking at yours, yours looks bigger than I remember. 
Yeah. Like that's pretty much head to head right there. You Dude, got like that's a, like ounce within ounce. It's with it because this one's fat. If this one wasn't fat, it wouldn't be that close. So one more big good look right here, side by side. Yeah, let me get over here. Yeah, don't fall in. <laughs> yeah, my knees on metal feels awesome. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Let's hold them up. Give the people yeah. at home a really good look here. Rotate them a little bit. Just kind of show what's going on. I mean, this is the best view we can give you folks at home. Yeah. Let's get these fish released and we'll explain what to do next. All right, folks. So we've uh, deliberated, all four of us, and we've come up with, I guess, I mean, it's not the best solution, but it is a good solution. So in the comment section right now, I'm going to put two comments, two different comments. One's going to say Lojo's fish, one's going to say Norm's fish. And whoever you guys think had the bigger fish, completely up to you, the viewers, the subscribers. And if you're watching at this point in the video, you're a freaking hardcore subscriber. We want you yes. guys to tell us which fish was bigger. I'm going to leave those comments both on that video for like a week or something. And when we run this video back, we're going to see who had the most likes and that person's going to get <laughs> I just swallowed a fly. I, saw, I watched it go in your esophagus. <laughs> hey, remember what we talked mm. about, guys, earlier in the video? You know, the more that you help me, the more Lojo's going to see it, no. and the more he has to up his the videos. Mind game. So I just like just think about that when you're voting for the fish. You know, you know, Norm, he's going to you know get you guys that boat content, the new property content you guys want. Like Lojo's going to buy. He's going to have to keep outdoing himself every video. I mean, you're not wrong. So um, just remember that when you guys are liking those comments down there. That's all I got to say. Wow, man, you you should be a politician, Norm. That was yeah. smooth right there. You just played like a mental mind game with the subscribers. I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's up to them. It's your decision, but just make sure you make the right one. <laughs> That's right. Make the right decision. <laughs> I'm curious to know what people legitimately think between those two fish because yeah. me sitting here, I'm honestly not sure. In person, it's hard to tell because it's, it's, it's hard to tell. longer and skinnier, shorter and fatter. Which right. one weighs the most, you know? Exactly. It's down to the ounce. They That's, could weigh exactly weigh. the same, honestly. But, they could you know, my, I think mine was probably bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was because it was tummied up, but... We yeah. want to hear from you guys. Do that. Definitely go subscribe to this man's channel. He'll be, he'll be linked down below. There's going to be tons of giveaways going on this channel, guys. So make sure you subscribe with the bell notification enabled. Love you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying these videos. See you later.